Long time no see, I know. I feel like it's been an incredibly long time since I last made a video and I feel terrible about that. But school this semester just had me in a bit of a chokehold that I couldn't seem to get out of and I just found that I didn't really have much time to make videos which made me very, very upset and sad. But, um, I finished school a couple weeks ago and I just took a couple of weeks to relax and it felt really good finally not having anything on my plate, but I really miss making videos, so here I am with a new one for you guys, finally. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I've never done before, and basically I'm just going to go and react to some of my old tweets. Now I'm like not huge on Twitter, like I don't have many tweets, but there are some that are like kind of funny. I feel like my Twitter is me just thinking that I'm funny, and in all reality I'm just really not. But uh, I like to have fun with it, uh, so I'm just going to go back and react to some of my old tweets, read them to you guys, and I really hope that you enjoy the video. So, what do you say? We just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my very first tweet that I ever tweeted out to the world, and I'm going to be reading these off my phone, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. But my very first tweet was on August 14th of 2012, which was just before I was about to start college. I said, I never thought I'd give in to the whole Twitter thing, dot dot dot, but oh well, another social networking site I have to remember my password for. So I remember this day when I created Twitter, I really never was interested in Twitter because I thought it was just this place where people posted like play-by-plays of their life. Like people used to joke around about that all the time, like that you would just post every single thing that you were doing at every minute of every day. And that's what I thought it was, like sitting on my back deck listening to music, like that's great. Or like sitting on my couch eating a burrito, whatever it would be. Like it's things that people don't really need to know that people were posting on here. But like as I got a Twitter, I realized that it was much more than just that. Like, you can find out a lot of information on Twitter. Like, you can follow celebrities, see what they're up to, or you can follow news sites. I found out a lot of information about the world on Twitter, so it really ended up being, like, a great networking site and it's something that I, I actually do enjoy. I don't post much on it, but I like to look at what other people say, so I'm glad I gave into the whole Twitter thing. It's pretty cool. So my next tweet I wrote on August 22nd of 2012. And I said, opening the fridge every five minutes as if something magical will appear each time. And I thought this was funny because I feel like a lot of people do this and sometimes they don't even realize it. You know, like when you're really, really hungry. And I feel like this is, this is my life. Like I am hungry most of the time. So I'm always opening the fridge. But you know when you're hungry and you don't specifically know exactly what you want. So you're trying to look for something that catches your eye. So you open the fridge and you don't really see anything. So then you close it and five minutes later you come back and open it thinking that something else is going to be in there. But in all reality, like there's still the same amount of things. Like, something did not just magically appear in there. But you think that five minutes later maybe something else will appeal to you more than it did five minutes before. I don't really know, but I, I think it's kind Kind of relatable because I feel like a lot of people really do that sometimes without even realizing it so I felt the need to tweet it to people <laughs> so my next tweet is probably one of my favorite ones but it's also the one that has like the most terrifying story to go along with it. So on October 14, 2012, I wrote, went to Six Flags last night where I was tortured and chased by creepy zombies. Now I can't go anywhere in my house alone. So basically it's a long story, but I'll try to tell it in all of its detail, all of its horrific detail. So I went to Six Flags for a concert, a Florida Georgia Line and a Jake Owen concert, and it was fantastic. Best concert I've ever been to. It was in October, so it was freezing, but it, it was going to be Halloween in a couple of weeks. So Six Flags has their Fright Fest that they do at night. So when we went into the concert, it was still light out, so the Fright Fest wasn't going on, but I had never been to one before. I had no idea what it was like or what went on there because I hate scary things. Terrifying. 
So when we went into the concert, we walked across this bridge to get there, and um, you know, we watched the concert, and it was great. And then when it was over, we had to walk back across that same bridge to get back out to the parking lot where our car was. So I remember hearing this creepy, creepy music, and I was like, what is that? What? It sounded like I was in a horror movie, which is one of my biggest, biggest fears. So I continued to walk ahead and all of a sudden the music got louder and I saw all these creepy zombies walking around and I was just like, I have to be calm because they can 100% tell when you're scared. And if you show that you're scared, they're going to gang up on you so bad. So in my mind, I was like, just stay calm. It's going to be fine. So apparently I have bad poker face. I did not stay calm or look calm in any way, shape, or form. So before I knew it, they, they all just ganged up on me, like 10 zombies around me making these like hissing noises. I was like, please help me, someone help me. I was terrified. And after that moment, I, I didn't know what to do. I think I screamed louder than I ever have in my entire life. <sighs> I hate even recalling it because it was so scary, but when I got home, I didn't even want to go to the bathroom by myself because I was afraid that creepy zombies would just come out of the woodwork and start attacking me again. So the next tweet I'm going to read I wrote on March 20th, 2013, and I said, I just spent about a minute frantically looking for my phone when I was talking to my mom on it. Hashtag I have issues. So I remember this exact moment. I legitimately thought I lost my phone, and I was trying to think of all the places I could have left it. So what I did was I called my mom after I was done class because I needed to tell her something important. I don't even remember what it was, but normally I don't make calls after class. I just go home and I tell my mom whatever I have to tell her when she gets home from work. But I always put my phone in like the front pocket of my backpack, and I put my backpack in the car and then I go home so that I'm not like wanting to text while I drive. I just keep it in my backpack so I can't reach back for it. So when I got to my car, I, I was talking to my mom, and I guess I must have been distracted, but I always like to check to make sure I have my phone before I leave class or before I leave school for the day, just in case I did leave it somewhere, I can go look for it without driving home first. So I looked in my backpack pocket, and there was no phone in there, and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I went into this mini panic attack, and I was telling my mom, like, oh my gosh, I can't find my phone. Where, where could I have left it? I have no idea where I even was that I could have left it anywhere. And she was just really silent, and I was like, in my mind, I was like, why isn't she more concerned for me? <laughs> I was so confused. And then all of a sudden, she was like, well, wait, like, what are you talking to me on if you can't find your phone? And I was just like, wow. Like, hashtag I have issues, most accurate thing I've ever tweeted, because... I was just embarrassed for myself that I even did that. So embarrassing, but those are the kinds of things I do. Like, can't find my sunglasses, but they're on my head. Or like, can't find my keys, but they're in my hand. I do stuff like that all the time. Comment down below if you also do it to make me feel better. <laughs> My next tweet I'm going to read, I wrote on June 18th, 2013. My dad always leaves his tidy whities on the bathroom floor in front of this thing called a hamper that is specifically designed for them. So I wrote this tweet about two years ago. June 18th, 2015 is coming up very soon. And even two years later, this is a tweet that still applies to my life. So in our house, my bathroom that I use is the only one that has a tub in it. Our other one has a shower. And my dad is a mechanic and he gets dirty throughout the day. So getting a bath in the tub does him much better to get him cleaner. But in the process, he leaves his clothes on the floor after he gets you know, into the tub. And then when he gets out of the tub, he goes into his room to get changed again into his other clothes that are not his work clothes, and leaves his work clothes on my bathroom floor, and fails to come back in after he's dressed into his other clothes to get them and put them where they belong. So countless times I have walked into the bathroom only to see his tidy whities just laying on the floor in my bathroom, which is the most disturbing and terrifying thing I could even describe to you right now. It is horrifying to see my dad's underwear laying on the floor in my bathroom. And the worst part is that, like I said, he leaves them in front 
of the hamper that they belong in. Every time he does this, I wanted to give him a timeout. Like, you need a lesson on how to put your dirty clothes in the hamper where they belong. Please, so that I do not have to endure this kind of thing. You are my dad. So this is going to be the second to the last tweet that I read. I wrote it on July 30th of 2014. I said, I went to Dollar Tree with my grandmother today, and every time we picked up an item, she asked me how much it was. I never want to get old. So I remember this. It was last summer, and I took her to Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys have Dollar Trees around you, but it's basically a dollar store. They have a lot of different versions of dollar stores all throughout the country, but we have a lot of Dollar Trees, and Dollar Tree is fantastic. They have a lot of really nice things for a dollar and the beauty of going into a dollar store is that you never have to wonder how much something is. You don't even have to look at the price tags because you know that everything in that store is a dollar. So I really like going in there with my grandma because she can get a lot of nice things for really cheap. But when we were in there she kept picking up things and she was like, how much is this? And I was just like, you know, well, I think it's probably a dollar. And then she'd pick up something else. She's like, oh, I wonder how much this is. And, you know, I know sometimes at the dollar store they have, like, two for a dollar things. So maybe that's something that throws her off a little bit. But you know that it's never going to be more than a dollar. So the very last tweet that I'm going to read I wrote a couple weeks ago on May 8th, 2015 and I said, I bought a bathing suit and brownies at Target yesterday. It doesn't make sense, but that's how I like to roll. So yeah, I went to Target and I bought a bathing suit because it's summer and I really needed one. All my other ones are so old. And I also bought brownies in the same transaction. And after I left the store, I was like, now Christy, think about this for a second. You bought a bathing suit, and I, I would really like to look good in that bathing suit. But then I also bought brownies, which are probably some of the most fattening things that you could ever eat. So it really didn't make sense, but those are the kinds of things that I do in my life all the time. I am a foodie, so whenever I go out and I see something that looks good, even if I'm buying a bathing suit, I'm going to get it because I want to eat it. <laughs> so guys, those were some of my old tweets that I wanted to read and I had a lot of fun going back and reacting to them and kind of reliving them. I think it's awesome that when you go back and read something that you wrote a long time ago, it's kind of weird how you remember the exact moment and the exact situation that you were in and in that case like exactly what you were feeling at that moment. I think it's awesome how words have the power to do that. So if you get the chance, go back and reread some of your old tweets and it'll definitely help you relive some of the good or, or even bad moments that you've experienced in your life. And it definitely helped me out and like kind of reminded me of all the things I've been through throughout the years, which was cool. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. I realized that this video was kind of long, but because I've been gone for so long, I think my channel deserved a long video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I really, really hope you guys are doing well. Again, I apologize that I've been gone for so long, but I'm back now and hopefully I'll have a lot more exciting videos for you guys in the next couple of months. So look forward to that. If you can at all think of any video ideas that you would like me to do, that would be awesome. Be sure to post them in the comments because I could always use some ideas because sometimes they're just hard for me to think of and hard for me to come by. So it would be nice to have your help with that and I like that you guys can give me video suggestions because then it allows me to give you guys more of what you want. So I really hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. These cars are like the loud engines man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop it you're ruining my video. <laughs> My hair is so frizzy. I feel like with each word I say, my hair gets like one more frizzy section in it. But the point is that he leaves his clothes on the floor in my bathroom. And then when he gets out of the tub, he goes into his room with his towel. <laughs> this is like way too much information. I'm telling you so much about like my dad's showering, bathing habits. Like you don't need to even picture my dad in a towel. Just forget about it.